The first part of the fine art reproduction pipeline is the acquisition or the scanning of the art. At Art Scans, we make sure that this is done exactly right, repeatably from scan to scan. Our feature is that we do an archive of the original in such a way, at such a quality, we can reproduce it many years later and have it still look the same on a variety of different equipment. By doing color management correctly, we can capture the shadows, the highlights, the skin tones, the entire gamut of the original, and be faithful to the original in future generations. Furthermore, we can do large sizes, bigger than this. We can go up to three by four feet. We've done six by eight feet. One of our unique capabilities is we can do large sizes at high resolution, for, for instance, 300 DPI over a six by eight foot area. Most traditional camera back systems cannot achieve this. They have to get back farther. Also, because we're lighting at such close range, we shoot in small sections, we can achieve flat lighting all the way from corner to corner without any vignetting. The second stage of the art scans process is to take the original scan and produce a final file for the use of the Gicle printmaker or offset printmaker. We can create that for specifically any ink set, any press, anything we can profile, and we do that for the customer. These are professional data grade tapes made by Sony. They are made at very high temperature. They're capable of keeping the scans protected for many decades, we are told. We keep a second set off-site for safety. After the scan is completed, we do a Photoshop step to make sure that the quality control is where we want it to be. Everything we scan goes through Photoshop, um, and just to fix defects, sometimes dust, scratches, maybe on the original things we know won't end up wanting to be on the print. All right, so here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to go over this and look at various colors, determine where the artifacts are, if any. It's important to check everything really closely because you never know what's going to crop up in the shadows. The shadows aren't really easy to see until later on in the process. When it's too late, and the image is already in the printing company's shop, that's the wrong time to discover that you have artifacts from the scanning process. The very wrong time. I like to do things like fix up little specks and things that may not look particularly good. final scan. So we just go over it, removing anything offensive, like dust and scratches. Anything we think the artist would like to have done without. Usually when doing photographs, they would be white or dark specks. Often dust shows up as white on a negative when it's printed. So photographers particularly like Photoshop. There we go. Done.